Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and I want to thank you all for joining me. I know it's been an extra week, and I had a nice vacation last week, which is why you never saw an anomaly video. Got home exhausted after a lot of hiking in the mountains and stuff. So we're going to do the anomaly video today, and uh, there'll be some other videos coming out over the weekend that I'm going to be getting uh, uh, ready to do tonight and over the weekend. We're also going to be doing a live stream on Saturday. We're going to do a live stream on Saturday probably about... 4.30 or so Eastern Time. So watch for messages to pop up and you'll be able to see a live stream. We're going to do the expedition one more time, speed run, and I've been doing some personal runs on it and I think I've got the record beat pretty easily. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. We'll have some fun. We'll have some fun, do a little chatter and everything like that about the future. Uh, so here we are. We're at the anomaly. Uh, here's the Nexus right here. If you look above it, you got your icon indicating that there's a weekend mission available. So let's go ahead and see what we got. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, this one's constructed an underwater outpost, so it's probably going to be different for everybody. I know somebody else did it earlier today, and they had to go look for bones. So today's is going to be constructing an underwater outpost again. We'll get salvage data times four and 1,800 Quicksilver. So let's get that started. Initialize the mission. Start the mission. Off we go. Let's head out. There we go, mission started. So we're going to be doing some little talking while we're getting this going here, um, as usual. Uh, now that I'm going to, I have the ability to do a few more videos in the upcoming weeks, we'll be uh, really ramping things up for the winter time here in the Northern Hemisphere. And we hope that uh, we'll be getting a lot more stuff coming up. Uh, now that that other game is starting to wind down, the excitement in it, uh, for it is starting to wind down a little bit, we notice that a lot of people are starting to come back around to No Man's Sky, as we expected and as I predicted. So let's see, uh, let's see how things go in the upcoming weeks. Uh, let's see. Should be pointing out a planet. There we go. Not a habitable planet located. Undiscovered. What planet is this? Tenete 11, potential construction site. Very good. Star bulb activated copper, which means storms. And it looks like since it's gray right now, you notice that there's probably storms going on as we speak. Severe storms are because that's where the activated copper comes in. So we just got to be careful. All right. So land anywhere that there's water. Can't land in the water, of course. I'm going to go this way, crash into the ground a little bit. Yeah, great flying there. Uh, let's see. This looks like a good spot. Hello. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll land right here. This looks good. All right. We've landed. Progress saved because we're in an ex we're, we're in a uh, mission right now, so get rid of that. What do we got to do? We got an animal trying to attack us. Very slow moving animal. I'm being attacked apparently by a, an armored snail. No! 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 I mean, really, could you walk any slower to come after me? Angry, crunches bones. He's an infant. You know what you can do? You can kill them, or you can go up here and you can feed them. And then just walk away. You don't even have to adopt them. They'll leave you alone. So, okay. So we need to do what? Uh, establish a construction site. One explorer. Deploy a base computer underwater. Here's our base computer. Let's go underwater. Now you require 30 chromatic metal in normal mode in order to construct one. So we're going to go over here. Let's just put it right. Uh, yeah, that looks good. We want to access said computer. And tell it it's going to search. Oh, no prior claims. So we're going to go ahead and claim the base. Excellent. So keep an eye on the right bottom corner and you'll see updates to the mission as we progress. So yeah, we're going to be doing some videos. I got some ideas on some stuff I want to do. So let's see, what does it tell me to do? Uh, use the echolocator to trace its... No, no. Build an infrastructure. Square deep water chamber. Okay. That one. Uh, let's see. Okay, it likes it now, so we're going to put it right there. Very nice. What's next? Uh, we need a watertight door.
that looks like a good spot for it. But you see, we need crystal sulfide, and I don't happen to have any on me. I know there's some on my ship, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some because I know there was some around. Uh, looks like we got some over there. Oh, wow, that looks wild underwater, doesn't it? Yeah, there's some over here. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll grab an extra one just in case we need it. I said I'll grab an extra one just in case we need it. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, it's about to blow up. That's why all the shaking. Okay. And here we are. Okay. Let's build that door now, shall we? Okay, there we go. Door built. Uh, we need vertical glass tunnels. Vertical, huh? Okay. Uh, up there. All right. Well, no problem. What do we need for those? We need glass. So how do we get glass? Well, we're going to have to go to our... Oh, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory I need to clean up. Anyway, I always say that every single time, don't I? Yeah, look at that. Is that crazy or what? I don't have any room in here. Unbelievable. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of you. I don't even know what I just deleted. I think I just deleted something by accident. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Since we're running out of oxygen, I'm going to go ahead and boost that up. So you see we do have in our inventory a personal refiner. So we're going to go in here. And we need silicon. Let's see. Good grief. I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Don't make that mistake, folks. Uh, let's see. It's in here someplace. I'll find it. There it is. Silicate, silicate powder. I'm only going to take about half of it. I don't need a lot of it. See, we'll get about 21 glass out of that. I don't need that much. Let's go ahead and get, I don't know, let's get five glass. And we'll exit out of there for, temp for a temporary reason. So we'll just take a look around. It's kind of a nice little planet as far as the ocean's concerned. Very pretty down here. Kind of like it. There, now it's prettier. <laughs> anyway, yeah, enough of that. Go back to our uh, refiner. No, not our starship. See, almost done. And there's our glass. So we're going to take that out, put it in our exosuit, put this back in there. All right, so now we can make our glass, vertical glass tunnels. So one glass, two crystal sulfide, so I'm going to need two more. Uh, so let's go ahead and find another one of those suckers. And we'll boost over there. Uh, I think I'm seriously going to get rid of this uh, jet trail. That is, it's hilarious. But come on. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. It's my birthday. Come on. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Every time I hit this jetpack, that's all I can think about is that stupid ship. <laughs> Good grief. All right, all right. Here we go. Keep going. That is a strange-looking water creature. It's got hooves. Okay. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and I'm already running out of oxygen again, so let's go ahead and put some more in here. Alright, so vertical glass tubes. We need one, two. So I'm going to put them up there. We're done with that. A viewing sphere. Okay, that's this one. What do we require for that? Three glass, so I'm glad I made extra. Uh, magnetized ferrite. Good. I'll put that up on top. Go up top and do it, or does it have to be on the side? No? Can't put it up there? No? All right, so we put it, uh, let's put it on that side. That's fine. Kind of got a nice view out that way. All right, so we need to decorate inside. Let's go inside, shall we? Um, eventually, I'll get in the door. There we go. And see what I mean? Nice little viewing sphere. A uh, sphere, sphere. That's the word. And if you want to, if you really want access to this, you got to put a ladder up. So I might just do that just to show you what that looks like. Uh, let's see. Ladder, 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 ladder. Uh, I guess it's down here. Here we go. Infrastructure ladder or regular ladder. Let's go regular ladder. Pure ferrite it requires. Okay. And we should be able to go up now. And as you can see, we're in the tube. And we're still in air. We can put more ladders up there. We can put two more down up there and we can get that going. So very interesting. All right, that said, uh, let's see, we need a bed. That's not the right button. Bed, bed, bed. That'll be over here. Uh, where's my bed? I've got so much stuff. Got sofas. Ah, oh, there we go. There's our bed. Condensed carbon only requires 10, so we'll just put that over here. Let's uh, adjust it a little bit. I like to just make things right, okay? 
It's not going to be perfect. I know. Beeble bum. Just ignore it, please. Uh, what do we need? We needed something else. What was it? A large glass panel, uh, oscilloscope, and an industrial pump. Interesting. Okay. Large glass panel. Large glass panel. Must be down here. Hmm. Large glass panel. Large glass panel. I'll find it. Wall screens. Maybe I don't have it? That would be interesting. An oscilloscope. I don't have it, I don't think. Let's keep going. Wow. Cement mixers. A wheelbarrow. That's handy, that's handy underwater, isn't it? There's a possibility I don't have either of those. I could have swore I did. Those are our pictures and posters, right? Yes. Okay, good. That's plants. Lovely. Little statues. Decorative. Furnishings. Let's take a look at the furnishings one more time here. I don't think I have it. I think I'm going to have to go get it. Well, I'll be. Okay. And an oscilloscope. So keep that in mind. That is what you're going to need here. Fascinating, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay, where's the door? There's the door. Yeah, we've got to change that jet trail. Yeah, it's my very all right, so we know where our base is. We'll come back in a moment. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drag you all through this whole uh, torture here, okay? We're gonna go back to the anomaly. That's where we're gonna find the stuff we need. Unbelievable. I use that word too often. Unbelievable, because it's totally believable. Inconceivable, maybe? Yeah, that Princess Bride, you know, we all know that one. Interesting. Let's go. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. All right, so we need to go to the parts area on the left. Instruction. All right, so let's see what we're missing here. So we need... See, I got a lot of stuff already. Uh, let's see. I don't like those, any of those things. Got the Wonder Projector. I'm going to go ahead and... Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to pull my freighter in, because I think all of my stuff's on board. Unbelievable! It gets better and better. We'll exit the station for just a second here. And we'll turn back around once we summon the freighter. Wow. This is kind of messed up, huh? Had no idea what to expect. But you have to expect the unexpected. Now, see, now that's a terrible phrase. Let's talk about that. How can you expect the unexpected? Because if it's unexpected, you can't expect it. Ponder that one for a little bit. I'm sure somebody's going to leave a comment on it. Not you, Marini. Marani, you can't leave a comment about it. Let me just go over here. Uh, come on in. All right, you're here. Let's check our inventory on the freighter. Got wiring looms. Got lots of upgrades. I probably don't need half of them. Am I going to stop soon? Or am I just going to crash into things? Let's just head it to the anomaly. Okay, while we're doing that, we'll go back to the freighter. All right, let's see. So, uh, let's see. I need, I know it's in here, and I'm probably looking right at it at some point. Plants, stuff, stuff, more stuff. Stuff. Maps, hmm, okay. Did we literally, do we not have any 
of those. I probably passed right by them, and I'm sure they're in here. Because I... That's not what I'm trying to do. I didn't even do that. I did it again. How is that happening? Let me get it over here. I have to have some of this. I usually have a ton of it, unless I left it on one of my ships and I don't even realize where it is, which is making this even worse. Oh, there it is, right here, right? Salvage data. Okay. Let's try this again. You know, another upgrade I'd like to see added is the ability to run faster rather than longer or have a quicker recharge rate. The ability to run faster, like a 10% increase in speed, maybe 20%, that would be kind of cool. That would be nice. Anyway, moving on. What do we got? So, Wonder Projector, I'm going to go ahead and grab it, because, you know, we got that as a reward. I, I, I stay away from the beatbox stuff, there's no reason for it. Uh, let's see, glass panel. Those are decals, I don't need those. Posters. I got all that. Wall flags and hanging flags. I didn't really get those, but they're not needed. Awnings, okay. Cement bag, stone trough. Dividers. A pail, an excavation claw. Barricade, nope, nothing there. Let's keep going. Lights, got some pink lights. Triple lights, hanging lights, other lights. Lights, 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 lab light. thought I had that. That must be on my other save. Okay... Got all those for the most part. Got the plants. Got those. Got those. Got those. Those. And those. Don't forget that. And that. And we got all those, of course. That. That. And I think we come back around. So, what glass panel are they looking for? It's a race initiator. I'm not interested in that. Wall screen, maybe? Or maybe... But we also need an oscilloscope, right? There it is. I've got the oscilloscope. Okay. Alright. My guess is we've got everything we need. So, pile up on stuff that you're going to need. Hopefully it tells you that you need stuff that you currently have. And I think that's what it's saying. is that You've already got this stuff ball. You just need to find it. So, how embarrassing is that? You got to see me look like a fool for five minutes. No quite a bit longer than that I'm sure across 300 plus videos that I've done so far yeah I'm sure I've made myself a fool many many times all right where are we going down to our base right there there we go unsafe trajectory unbelievable Kind of a pretty planet. I don't like the yellow water. Frankly, I would like something better. It's kind of an orange water, actually. Orange juice. Planet. Sky's not bad. I kind of like that color sky. Not quite blue, you know? And bloop. Down we go. And in we go. Okay. Try this again. So, glass panel. Let me just see if it's over here that it's wondering about that. Large glass panel. Well, why didn't it tell me that? Alright, so we'll put it over here. Yep, that was it. Alright, we need an oscilloscope. And that is going to be under decorations and should be highlighting it. So it didn't highlight it before, but I didn't go to the right menu. There's our oscilloscope. Um, I guess we'll just uh, put it over here in the corner. Okay. And last, we need an industrial pump. Uh, should be here, I guess. Okay, I gotta roll with it. Too bad it's not in alphabetical order, huh? Vintage teapot, insulated flask. Oh, wait, it's flashing now, finally, over here. So there should be an industrial pump over here someplace? Yep, had it all along, look at that. 
There we go. And they didn't require much to do. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool looking. All right. So we just need to upload our base. So we had everything we needed. And I think it will only allow you to use stuff that you currently have. So you don't have to worry about getting this stuff. Usually it'll, it'll just ask you to build things that are already in your inventory. All right. Upload the base. Base uploading to servers. And we could take all this down if we wish. But frankly, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there. All right. We are out of here. So we should be done. Return to the space anomaly that we were in because we were foolish. And off we go. And we should be able to see it. There she is. There we go. Wham. All right. So there we go. That's the end of this mission. So let's talk for just a couple extra minutes. So watch for videos over the weekend. Live stream on Saturday. We're going to be doing the expedition, like I said, in a speed run. Um, I've already got personal times that are under 120, so that should be pretty interesting. And I've already got an idea of exactly how much time I need to spend everywhere I need to go. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, and we'll talk amongst ourselves as, at that point as well. I, like I said, i got other videos I want to do, not just uh, regular playthrough videos. I did have one person... Let's go ahead and complete this out real quick, by the way. Uh, we did have one person make mention... Um, of complete the mission and we get our 1800 quicksilver i'll mention this in just a second hold on let's check our quicksilver vendor real quick uh create and what do we got this is the tier four that we're looking for we're almost there we're at 91 percent, so it should be unlocking soon the plasma jet trail i'm looking forward to that that i really like to see and the fusion one looks really cool so i look forward to seeing these soon so we'll see what happens probably uh over the weekend they'll complete out so let's go ahead and save this real quick and jump out. Okay, good. So, let's get back to talking for just a moment. So, um, it was mentioned uh, regarding the longer playthrough, the permadeath playthrough I'm going to do to the center of the galaxy, that little disappointment in the fact that I got a sentinel ship so quickly. And, of course, it was on purpose, because you're in permadeath mode, and when you die, it you don't get a game save. That's it. It's the end of the game. So you want to be as protected as possible. So, but I understand. I understand the reasoning behind it because it does make it easier for us in the permadeath mode to get that done. I'm going to continue with that the way I am right now. We're going to continue that run. But I will be doing a permadeath uh, no starter ship challenge. I'm going to do it uh, in a little bit of a different... I might even do the... The challenge that Beeble Bum came out with, a couple of different challenges he's come out with. So we'll do the fugitive run and possibly even the other run that they were talking about, which is the smuggler run. Uh, so we don't, I don't know how I'm going to get those done. But one thing I'm going to avoid doing in future uh, run throughs or playthroughs is to avoid getting a Sentinel ship um, because it does make it a lot easier. They're absolutely right. So we'll go for other crash ships and things like that. Maybe we'll set up a couple rules on how we're going to do it. Uh, who knows? Who knows? We'll see how this goes. Uh, but by all means, please leave the comments and don't feel like you're being too critical. Uh, they were hoping that nobody would be upset at their comment, and I told them absolutely not. You absolutely should tell me exactly how you're feeling about a video. If you don't like something about it, tell me. I need to know uh, so I can make adjustments to my videos. It's makes sense it's a logical reasoning you were very respectful and i have no problem with it whatsoever so please by all means leave uh comments just keep them clean keep them respectful and i have no problem with them whatsoever and i always thank everybody for watching all these videos so we're going to go ahead and end this one now we thank you very much for watching give a couple quick wave goodbye and you all take care we'll see you in the next video bye bye everybody